Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we're going to talk about some of the different ladders on the ship. We've previously done videos where we talk about the light bulbs and the floor and the colors of the paint. So this is another one of those really down in the weeds details. The first off, there are a number of different stairways that you can use to get from the various decks of the ship. And uh, by my math, there are 18 stories uh, made up by the ship. Uh, 19, 19, because there's 12 in the superstructure from the rangefinder down, and then there's seven more in the hull. Uh, so having ladder ways for the ship's 2,000 man crew to get between those various levels is very important. All of the stairs on the ship, whether they are true vertical ladders or at uh, slightly more of a gentle angle like this guy right here, are called ladders. Uh, we do not have any true stairways on this ship as design. There's nothing that is uh, shallow enough angle to be considered a flight of stairs. And because on the original wooden ships, all of these access ways were ladders, the Navy just keeps that term right on going. Never let progress stand in the way of tradition. Angled ladders like this are uh, the, the most predominant. People ask me all the time how I go down them so fast. Uh, and one of my coworkers always used to say the first 10,000 times are the hardest. So basically experience, experience, experience. Once, once you know how to do this, it gets easier. And people ask all the time, you know, is it safer to go down backwards or forwards or uh, whatever the case is. And uh, I tend to always go down forwards, it's faster. And there are some situations in which I feel safer going down forwards. We'll talk about that more later. But in general, it is safer to go down backwards. And I'll show you why. When you're going down forwards, notice how my uh, calf here hits the step behind me. And so there's only room for about half of my foot on this ladder. Likewise, holding it like this, if something happens and I slip, I keep falling. Whereas if I'm going down backwards, you'll notice my whole foot is on the ladder and holding the ladder like this, you don't fall off. So that is definitely the safer way to do it. If you've ever watched any of John Wayne's naval movies like In Harm's Way, he himself always goes down backwards. So got absolutely nothing wrong with going down a ladder backwards if I need to, especially when I'm carrying stuff. However, usually I'm trying to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. And in that case, going down forwards is the uh, quickest way. Oftentimes, there is a grab bar right here. Because we're pretty far forward, the overhead is a lot higher than normal. So that this, uh, there is not one. But uh, if I'm going down forwards and I fall, there isn't much room for me to fall because the trunks are so narrow. That's the whole reason why these are steep. There's not enough room to have a good angle. Um, and so th there's nothing for me to fall into. One of my favorite features about this particular ladder is this supply vent right here. Notice the uh, dent in it and notice how they had to patch a hole in this at one point. Odds are pretty good that a sailor came down this ladder a little bit too hard, fell, and uh, made that dent themselves. So because these trunks are so narrow, there, there's usually something to catch you when you fall, and you don't go face first into the ground and completely eat it. So here's an example of one of those relatively tight ladder wells. If, if I uh, try to fall, there, there's not much space for me to go. We're still uh, pretty far forward here. In fact, this ladder well also functions as an ammunition loading hatch for turret number two. Uh, and you can see that it is going between second and third deck because we've got the armored deck right here. You'll notice this trunk has both 
a traditional ladder, and it's similarly steep, um, and an actual vertical ladder. So uh, first off, you notice the traditional ladder doesn't have the pipe handrails. It's got a chain handrail. This is much more common inside the ship so that when you're closing hatches like this, the chain could be extended up to a railing up here so people can go all the way up on deck. Uh, and when you need to close the hatch, you just undo that chain. And now it's not going to obstruct this hatch from going all the way down. Uh, exterior ladders tend to be more of the pipe railings uh, like, like the ones that you can slide down. You cannot slide down the chain ladders, but these do give you really good grip, even when your hands are wet. Now, because this is an ammunition loading hatch, the ladder is removable. In fact, most of the ladders on the ship are removable. Uh, they tend to have four bolt holes, two at the top, two at the bottom, and you can very easily unthread those and remove the ladder, uh, and that way, the ladder way becomes a hatch where you can move equipment through. Because this was used for loading ammunition, this ladder can be removed pretty easily. And there is a true vertical ladder on the side here, so sailors can still use this ladder way even when the ladder is removed. Many of these ladders, uh, especially in the storekeeper areas and back in the mess decks, have a uh, flat metal plate on the back. Uh, some people think that's so that you can't kick through the back of the ladder, drop, drop something through. That's not really the, the cause or the reason for it. The actual reason for that is so that you can flip the ladder upside down, and now you've got a slide. Not for the sailors, but for all the supplies that you're loading down. You just drop these boxes right down that slide into the mess decks or supply spaces. Some ladders also have rails on them that fold down, which serves the same purpose. It's worth mentioning that any of the ladders with netting like this, uh, that was added by the museum for people's safety so someone doesn't fall out. Um, in shipboard use, it would just be this railing here and there would be nothing else. So now we're on second deck, not too far from the post office. If you're following from your booklet general plans at home, we're in 2 TAC 95, TAC 2, TAC L. So this is one of the widest and most luxurious ladders on the whole ship. There's plenty of room for you to go down forwards here. And it just goes to show you that these ladders are not built at a standard angle. It depends on how much space you have. Uh, in this room, you've got a fair amount of room before you hit a bulkhead, so they were able to put a less severe angle on it. Uh, We'll see in a minute, the one on the other side of the ship has less room, and so it is at a far more severe angle. This also may have to do with the fact that if you are going forward or up, you're using the starboard side of the ship, and if you're going aft or down, you're using the port side of the ship. We've talked about this in other videos, but because during general quarters and other events, you've got thousands of guys going back and forth, and they got to get there quickly, there is uh, traffic flow to the ship. So forward and up, you're using the starboard side and starboard side ladders, and aft and down, you're using port side ladders. So the up ladders on the starboard side tend to be at steeper angles, whereas the down ladders on the port side tend to be at shallower angles like this one. So here's the same ladder on the opposite side of the ship. We're now on the starboard side where you're supposed to be going up instead of down, and you can probably tell that this is significantly steeper. This, this is one of those ladders I absolutely hate to go down. Uh, one, because it's so steep, and two, because unlike most places where there's a trunk and if I fall, I'm able to catch myself. Uh, here there's a wide open door, so if I fall, I've got enough room to really beef it bad. So th this rule with the ladders, um, tends to be the case throughout second deck on the Iowa class. However, it is not a hard and fast rule. Ladders are still built in such a way that they can fit in the space that, that they will go in. Uh, so most of the ladders are like this one where there are uh, bolts that can be removed to disassemble the ladder if needed. 
But there are a couple of instances where ladders are built into the side of the ship and, and welded on. Um, particularly as you get down in the engineering spaces, that there are a lot of ladders that are like angled bars that you're that are welded to the bulkhead that you're using, as opposed to like here is an actual ladder that's mounted there. So a common question we get asked is do people, do sailors fall down the ladders? And uh, this is, from the deck logs we do have, and again, we don't have a complete set of deck logs, but from the ones we do have, yeah, a lot of people are going to medical because they have fallen down ladders and hurt themselves. Um, it, it's just how it is. On the museum, when, when you come and visit this ship or any other museum ship for that matter, you will be using the original ship's ladders. Um, these are not up to modern code, but as historic structures, we're sort of grandfathered in that we can continue to use them which is good because there just isn't room here to build one at the proper gradient to, to be fully safe. So when you come out and visit, make sure you go down the ladders the way that you feel most comfortable with, uh, which is usually backwards. And we also recommend that you don't wear any backpacks or baby carriers or anything like that as you're going down ladders because there usually isn't a lot of uh, room overhead and you get that stuff caught on things as you're going down. Have you ever fallen down a ladder on a ship or a flight of stairs in your home? I know I certainly have. Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other private individuals and uh, businesses. We really appreciate the support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to help. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to spend an evening with me and other battleship enthusiasts and support the museum, Saturday, January 8th, we are hosting a meet and greet on board the ship. It starts at 4.30 and will probably run to about 9 p.m. Uh, during the talk, I'm going to answer questions from people like you. And also, we're going to uh, answer, talk about my opinions on a couple of my favorite questions. Um, one of them, what would a modernized Iowa-class battleship look like in 2022? And another one, what would have happened if Battleship New Jersey was in the San Bernardino Strait? Those are just a couple of the questions. We'll have some other ones. And again, you guys can submit questions. This uh, talk probably will not end up on the YouTube channel. Uh, and if it does, it'll be months before it happens. So if you're in the area and you want to su uh, support the museum, I'd love it if you came out and met me. The winter is traditionally a very slow time for the museum. So coming out and participating in events like this really helps us get through to the next busy season. There's a link in the description below with more information if you're interested in attending.